Music in my car is just the AC And I hate it when we start just like my six feet Know you're clutching hands and feet like how I switch gears Only difference is I'm silent, you hold back tears To your hands face down, baby It's not like the times that we shed There's a tension in the air right now Got your hands together, what you praying for? You know you do better with someone that's less unstable Signs, signs that we need to stay I tried, tried to beg the universe for praise It was simple in summertime 2016 When the sky was burning People talking about dreams and the future Conversations in my backseat Jameson and caffeine Secrets kept in between Between us Between us between Hey what's up you guys Welcome back to my channel So this week I Or in this video I'm going to be doing A week in my life It's a very real week in my life So um this week is very chaotic. There's a lot happening. Um, so I thought I would document this week just because it's really chaotic and I know that it's going to have memories that I want to look back on. And also I just wanted to share part of my study abroad experience with you guys. Okay, so I'm going to pause right there. Clearly this is months later. Um, I could not get myself to edit this. But I genuinely thought this was going to be an exciting week in my life. And it was exciting in all the worst ways possible. I promise you I had no clue what I was talking about when I said that I wanted to look back at this for memories. Um, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. But I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about study abroad before I start this video. Um, I am so grateful to be here in Rome. Um, it's been such a great experience. I've learned a lot um, in my internship. I'm learning a lot of about culture here and I think like the culture change has been really good for me um, because as you probably know if you know me I'm very stressed all the time so being here in Italy has been like a nice step back like a little bit relaxing um, different a change of scenery so I'm absolutely loving that um, I am currently this week I have I'm meeting my host family so I live in an apartment but I'm partnered with a host family um, as well and so I'll be meeting my host family this week I'll take you guys with me to work probably um, I have a field trip later this week I'm going to a volleyball game um, there's a lot happening I'm really excited about it and then I'm trying to plan weekend travels with my friends um, but as you probably know uh, or Maybe you don't know, but this video is being filmed in the peak of coronavirus in Italy right now, so it's kind of difficult to travel. We were originally, or well, right now, you're not supposed to really travel to like Milan or anywhere in the Lombardy region um, because they are pretty much closed and no trains will go there because they're in quarantine, like entirely in quarantine. So I'm sure you see, saw in the news, like Milan Fashion Week was um, canceled. Venice's um, Carnival celebration was canceled. And so we can't really go north. And so we thought we were gonna go to Florence because Florence was really cheap tickets, um, like train tickets. But uh, we just got news that the first case of coronavirus was just confirmed in Florence. And so we're going to kind of hang back and see what happens because like granted it's just one case, but you never really know because what happened here was we went from having 30 cases, 30 cases? Yeah. I think we went from having 30 confirmed cases in Italy to 155 cases over the course from Friday night to Sunday morning. And so... In two days, who knows what Florence is going to be like. I know like NYU Florence already shut down for the month and is telling students to evacuate and head back to the US. So that's crazy and I would really hate for that to happen. Yeah, fingers crossed that we actually can travel somewhere this weekend because I really, really want to go somewhere. <laughs>
Look who I'm running into now. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Lena. Okay, so I'm on my way to Lena's apartment now. We're gonna plan out our weekend, um, maybe start working on spring break stuff. I was originally going to go tutor because I was originally gonna go tutor and then it got canceled because of Carnival. Ooh, fun fact. This library building up ahead here, that library building used to be a public bathhouse when Garbatella was first founded. And now it's a library instead. As a part of my Modern Life in the Eternal City class, I have to um, take part in a service learning project. So my project is to tutor English to third and fourth graders who stay after school in a program for students whose parents work. So they usually stay there from when school ends to about 6.30. And so I go in for the last like hour and a half to tutor and like hang out with them, play games in English and stuff like that. Um, but not today. <laughs> Oh, that's not the doorbell. Oh. Good afternoon. So I am on my way to class. I had brought my camera to work and then got sucked into some meetings on like security briefing and coronavirus. And so then I got, I was a chicken and did not bring my camera with me into the meetings. I'm on my way to Roma Train now. I have class from two to five. Oh my God, Anna. Okay, or don't. Um, yeah, I'm very flustered because this morning I heard a rumor or my friend had heard a rumor that Father Peter might be pulling us out of the program or pulling some of the students out of Italy because of coronavirus. And so I'm a little stressed about that right now. I just think, I just don't think it's as big of a deal, like as much as it is a deal here. For you to pull me back into the United States, how much safer am I going to be there? And also then that's an entire semester um, kind of wasted. So I'm a little stressed about that. Anna, 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 Anna. Here we are at school. Good evening friends, I'm here with Carrie and Anna and we're cooking dinner together. It's family dinner night. We're making um, a pasta dish we found on Pinterest with tomatoes and chicken and then we're doing, we're being healthier and adding zucchini and we have our cute little meat board as always. As always. As always. With a hefty piece of bread. <laughs> Hey you guys, I thought I would catch you up just a little bit and maybe because I want to see this in the future and hopefully I will laugh about this, um, but I cut dinner preparation vlogging short because um, like maybe seconds after the last footage of me chopping um, tomatoes, we got an email that because of coronavirus, Villanova has made the decision to pull us out of Rome. Very obviously, I'm upset. Um, I'm really angry because 
we didn't really get a say in this, nor did we even know that this option was on the table. I mean, I guess like you could assume that it was on the table, but they never had officially said anything. And all of a sudden they just sent us the email that says like, you are leaving um, Rome or you should leave Rome and you should let us know what your plans are and how you're going to get back by March 2nd. Um, March 2nd is this coming Monday, so four days from now. And so I I haven't changed any flights yet, but I did look and it's around $2,000 to fly home right now. Um, they offered to compensate us for the fees we'll incur to change our flight up a couple months, but that doesn't barely begin to make a dent in the $2,000 flight that it'll take to get home. Um, so my family has like contacted Villanova because the idea that how do we know that I'm not safer in Rome than I will be on some plane for nine hours, probably German fasted, whereas Rome has not yet been affected by coronavirus. Um, and right now everything's just pretty much up in the air because Villanova still wants us out. I'm kind of sad, well, I'm more than kind of sad. I'm angry, I'm upset, I cried for multiple hours. I just don't think it's so much safer for me to get on a flight um, with a ton of other tourists and travelers. I don't know where they've been. And then to fly back to the United States where my semester would pretty much be shot because I can't start classes over again. We're halfway through the semester. I can't continue my internship because it's based out of Rome. So I guess I'll keep you guys updated. And I'm just like really sad because I thought this video was gonna be like, one of the first one of the or one of the first videos in this like study abroad diaries that I was going to do and now it looks like this week in my life is turning into last week in Rome. So I really don't want that to happen. Um I'm getting choked up now, so I'm gonna go because that's pretty much it. How will I have to say? So I'm gonna say goodnight now and I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully not for my last day at EFOD. Yeah. Simpler in summertime 2016 when the sky was burning He was talking about dreams in the future Conversations in my backseat Just him and Kathleen Good morning, Ephod Good morning, Anna Good morning <coughs> Oh We don't know. We're not to be sure. We're not sure. Really, girls, if you find any problem, any issue, or whatever, call me. I can call people and talk with them in Italian. Thank, mm -hmm. thank, you. thank you. Yeah, we'll okay. see you Monday. <laughs> see you Monday, comm department. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, Ciao. but like, hello, not goodbye. I know. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, <laughs> welcome back to another vlog. I don't have anything else to say. Oh, I'm in Manchester, in the UK, the Great Britain, the great land of England. The Great Britain where there's no coronavirus ruining your there. life. Mm. It could happen soon, but right now we're we're knocking on some wood. Oh, that's what I was like. I'm like cried, ruined my makeup. I then decided to 
FaceTime Melissa because I'm the only one in my apartment and my friends and I were waiting. We're gonna go souvenir shopping because that was something we were gonna save for May and the timeline is clearly moving up a little bit faster um, than we were anticipating. I sent a very long worded email to Villanova and this vlog is very quickly looking like the last week in Rome um kind of week in my life vlog so i guess we'll see how this progresses and i'm really sad about it because i had i tried to do vlogmas and only did five videos and i tried to do a study abroad diaries and now i only have five videos granted they're each for different reasons but i am sad regardless um probably a little more sad about this one I, i've cried from 7 30 till now oh god people are coming home gotta go bye okay good morning um today is friday so clearly this video and this whole week like the past 48 hours have been a whirlwind um yesterday we tried to do some like retail therapy to like feel better about the fact that we were going home and then we got another big bomb of a email and so we couldn't really even focus on doing that um we ended up coming back and crying over a second dinner and then I had an interview for an internship this summer. Um, so I needed to leave and it's just like, I don't know, it's hard to think about because this was not where I thought my semester was going to be going. Um, yeah, and I'm just disappointed, upset, I'm heartbroken. Heartbroken's the big one. But I think I'm gonna conclude this vlog this week. Um, it hasn't been a week, but it's been a very long four days. Um, and it was really a ride from beginning to end, seeing as I thought this was just gonna be a typical week in my vlog um, life, studying abroad. But it turned out it looks like it could be like one of the last weeks studying abroad, about 10 weeks too soon. Um, and I get that I'm very lucky to be here um, and that I'm going home because, or I could be going home because that's safer, not just in terms of like not getting coronavirus because I know it'll be in the United States. Um, sorry for not looking at the camera either. Um, but in terms of the fact that if travel sanctions happen, there's just a lot of what ifs that probably are a lot easier to tackle if I'm in an English speaking country and on my home turf. I apologize if in the future this seems very dramatic. It probably is very dramatic, but it just hurts a lot that this is, this is what's happening. Um, because I had a lot of plans for this semester and they're kind of just going down the drain now. <laughs> um, on that note, I think I'm just gonna end the vlog. Um, and I'm gonna start a new one for a weekend in my life, which could be the last weekend in Rome um, Seeing as I really don't know what's happening and we're gonna make that a positive one. It's gonna be fun We're gonna go do a ton of touristy things um, Go shopping and make up for the fact that we have to leave early So thank you guys for tuning in um, This was one roller coaster of a week and hopefully everything kind of clears up soon So we know where we're going with um the rest of the semester um love you all and i appreciate you guys watching so see you in the next video bye